you know, you never know when it's going to be, you know, your last day or whatever. But you would hope that it wouldn't go, you know, in a terrible way. So I walked into my doctor's office today and I'm laughing and talking with the front desk person when I finally just looked to my left and saw this picture frame sitting there and I see Jalen and I was like, did he leave? And so that's when they realized I didn't know and I started reading what was written on there and I said, oh Jesus. And I caught myself because I knew what I was about to do. And all I could do was just, yeah, I was trying to, I said, y'all, I'm trying not to holler in front of you, so let me go sit down, because I can't believe this right here. And I immediately called my mama, and my mama screamed when I said it to her. Somebody on the line, this child. Jalen Austin was a very sweet young man. He worked in my doctor's office, and he's been there for a minute. Every, I've been going there back and forth for the past few weeks. Well, for the past few months. Every other week, I've been going to the doctor. Every other week. And I'm getting these procedures done. And he's the person who I get to laugh and kiki. And, you know, and I was looking forward to walking in the clinic today. And say, hey, Zoo. Hey, boo. How you doing? And just do what we do in the clinic. And I, I always had him and this young lady that I was, with, you know, kiki with. But uh, I, I just... I can't stop crying, y'all, because I wish that our young men would stop all this unnecessary analyzing of each other. I need for y'all to stop it. Stop taking somebody's child away for absolutely nothing, for idiotic things. Just because you want to. They have no idea who did it to them. They just found their poor child out there in the parking lot. And it's just, I, I can't even imagine what he had to go through. And he was so sweet, so down to earth, and so memorable. He had the mannerisms of a very well-trained and taught young man and he has so much going for him he has so much more of life that he deserved to live and have been able to see whomever did this I pray that you get your justice and you need to get back tenfold what you did to that poor child that young man did not deserve it and I give my sincerest condolences to Jada Lawson's family that young man, I mean, when I saw him the first time, I was like, I know you. And honestly, I can't remember how we personally knew each other, but we already knew each other. <laughs> and he was just kiki about it. And from then on, he's always been like the little friend. And I can't wait to see when I get to the doctor, you know. He was my Gary <laughs> that from work <laughs> at the doctor's office. He know what I mean. Mama know what I mean. <laughs> but I just love some him. And my mama loves some him. And if you had met him, you would have loved him too. I just, I, I, I want to really say we need to stop this. I saw the story, but I didn't know it was him. I just saw that they had found a young man, but I didn't see the name. I didn't know none of this until today. And I can't stop crying. Because it could have been me. It could have been you. Could have been any of us. Just out the blue. We never know which way we're going to go. And when we're going to go. But Lord knows he didn't have to go like this. 